cockroaches, bats, ancient crystals, even hobbits, we're taking the deep dark dive into caves you didn't know you needed. Cavernous, even colossal caves that seem impossible to even exist. The organ was created by Leland W. Sprinkle. Mr. Sprinkle toured the caverns in 1954. With but they do. The deeper we go, the darker it gets. But have no fear, there's a lot we can learn from these mysterious places. They can be entire ecosystems entirely removed from the light, or they can be full of treasure and completely sacred. The scary part? You got to go in them to find out. 15 Strangest Things Found in Caves <laughs> Number 15. Isolation Experiment Recently, 15 people emerged from a cave in southwest France after 40 days underground. They were in there voluntarily as well. It was an experiment to see how the absence of clocks, daylight, and external communications would affect their sense of time. They had no contact with the outside world, no updates on social media, nor any communication with friends or family. Naturally, they left their voluntary isolation to a round of applause. It had to have been tough. With big smiles on their pale faces, they basked in the light while wearing special glasses to protect their eyes after so long in the dark. The group lived and explored the cave. There was no natural light. Scientists behind the project say the experiment will help them understand better how people adapt to drastic changes in living conditions and environments. Scientists monitored the 15 team members' social interactions and behavioral reactions via sensors. The team members followed their biological clocks to know when to wake up, go to sleep, and eat. They counted their days not in hours but in sleep cycles. Our future as humans on this planet will evolve. Our brains are capable of finding new solutions, whatever the situation. These folks tested the limits for us. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Researchers discover a mysterious cave and find something incredible inside. What it is, however, we have zero clue. Wherever this marvelous giant sculpture stands is a complete mystery as well, but it appears to be an entrance of epic proportions to the cave the researchers came across. Our guess is that it was some earth-loving, goddess-worshipping ancient culture. These indigenous people were probably an advanced society that was capable of turning huge slabs of stone into finely crafted monolithic sculptures like this. We'd probably be correct in assuming the artifacts of evidence inside the cave would give us a clue and maybe the answer the researchers need. But what do you think? It looks like the ultimate place to go for a hike, that's for sure. But where this cave might lead, that's a question you might have to help us answer. Use the hashtag open discussion with your comments below. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Hobbit Cave. Welcome to the cave known for its ancient inhabitant, the Flores Hobbit. Liang Bois is a limestone cave on the island of Flores, Indonesia. In 2003, an Indonesian field team uncovered a mysterious skull. Initially, the archaeologists only analyzed the top of the cranium and due to the small size believed that the skull belonged to a small child. However, they soon discovered that its teeth were permanent and mature, revealing that it actually belonged to a fully grown adult. The skeletal evidence suggests that adults of this species had extremely small brains, stood less than 4 feet tall, and weighed no more than 85 pounds. For their height, these individuals have large body masses similar to earlier hominins. After a few weeks, the team had discovered most of this particular hominid's skeleton which became known as the Hobbit. Despite the small structure and brain size, the Hobbit was capable of using stone tools, hunting animals such as small elephants and rodents, and dealing with many predators such as large Komodo dragons. There's been much debate about whether or not the skeletal remains are actually human but excavations are still being conducted and additional findings are being discovered and analyzed. Number 13. Inverse Everest Krubera Cave is the second deepest known cave on Earth. Located in Georgia at the intersection of Eastern Europe and Western Asia, it's so deep that it's earned the nickname of being the Everest of all cave systems. It's one of the two known caves on Earth deeper than 6,500 feet and it was only discovered in 1960 making it a relatively recent discovery in terms of other geological wonders. While there is an air of mystery and intrigue to a cave such as this one, 
which bottoms out at a depth of 7,200 feet, there's also a level of risk and danger associated with being that far underground. That's not to say that attempts haven't been made to reach this cave's depths each year. New teams attempt to summit to its bottommost part. However, the intricacy of the cave, combined with the building pressure the lower one descends, leads to complicated trips. Only those who are abundantly prepared and knowledgeable in the inner workings of caves such as this are permitted, and even then, it's not an easy journey. This is what life looks like deep underground, at depths that humans rarely see. The inner workings are like something out of a movie. Number 12. Cockroach Hell Like many caves around the globe, this one on the island of Borneo is home to millions of bats, but it's the horrific numbers of cockroaches that live in the cave that makes it seem like something out of an adventure movie gone way wrong. Welcome to Gomatong Cave. It's the type of place that makes most people want to run the other way. Located within Gotham Tong Hill, the cave system is made up of two primary chambers, the Black Cave and the White Cave. A number of species live within the large 300-foot-tall caverns, including swiftlet birds. There are also hundreds of thousands of bats living in the upper reaches of the cave. Their nightly exodus from the cave mouth is a popular sight for visitors but imagine the amount of feces that millions of bats and swiftlet birds can produce. And then imagine how many feasting bugs that would attract. And that's exactly what you have to walk through. Crunch? That's why it's been dubbed the Cockroach Cave. There are so many roaches in the caves that they can be seen climbing the walls. The cave is crawling, literally, with cockroaches. The cave can be accessed by a wooden walkway that leads visitors down into the roach-infested wonderland. Do not wear open-toed shoes. Number 11. Cave of Masterpieces During World War II, across Europe, the advancing enemy forces looted or destroyed millions of pounds worth of art. As bombs fell on London, attention turned to how to protect the National Gallery's art collection. Experts scoured the UK and they found this quarry, Manod Quarry in Wales. This mountain had been a working quarry for over a century. Its excavations created a cavernous space at the heart of the mountain, and covered with hundreds of feet of slate and granite, it could survive any bombing. Also, its very remoteness made it easier to keep the art rescue mission top secret. Almost 2,000 works by various artists, including masterpieces by Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, the list goes on. The largest paintings were packed in specially designed elephant cases and transported by road. The smaller paintings were transported in portal vans and candy delivery trucks in order to avoid attracting attention. From there, they were loaded onto a railway which carried them through an airlock and sealed wagons right up to the doors of the huts, only unloaded once they were inside in the strictly controlled air-conditioned space. The evacuation taught art experts a lot about preservation, even after the war. Number 10. Mummy Claw Decades ago, a team of archaeologists was carrying out an expedition inside a large cave system on Mount Owen in New Zealand when they stumbled across this frightening claw, still intact with flesh and scaly skin. So the archaeological team took it for analysis. The results were indisputable. The mighty moa, the mega bird species varied in size. Some were around the size of a turkey, while others were larger than an ostrich. However, the upland moa, like this, one of the smallest of the moa species, about four feet in height. Moas used to be the largest terrestrial animals and herbivores that dominated the forests of New Zealand. This mysterious Mount Owen claw was found to be the 3,300-year-old mummified remains of the large prehistoric bird that had disappeared from existence centuries earlier. But this claw was so well preserved that it appeared to have come from something that had only died very recently. The moa has frequently been mentioned as a candidate for a revival through cloning, since numerous well-preserved remains exist from which DNA could be extracted. Furthermore, since it only became extinct several centuries ago, many of the plants that made up the moa's food supply would still exist. Number 9. Mysterious Ancient Caves There isn't a single historic document that refers to these ancient caves which is highly unusual considering the sheer scale of the project creating them. That's why this extensive, magnificent, and rare ancient underground world is considered the ninth wonder of the ancient world in China. 
Longyu Caves is a complex of artificial caves constructed into the sandstone geology of Fenhuang Hill. Discovered in 1992, after news of the discovery spread across China, it was first proposed that the caves were an obscure natural wonder, as the design and formation were completely distinct from other ancient caves. Carved into solid siltstone, each grotto descends around 100 feet underground and contains finely carved stone rooms, bridges, gutters, and sacred pools. The caverns are also aligned along a south to southwest orientation, maximizing the use of sunlight to illuminate the interior. Yet their origin is a complete and utter mystery. Why they were constructed has also led to speculation that they were ancient quarries or underground storage, Taoist dwellings, secluded military encampments, a palace, or a ceremonial site for making offerings to the gods and ancestors. Number 8. Creepy Eyes if you're ever in Bulgaria, this strange cave is one of the most popular tourist attractions they've got. It's called Prohodna Cave. The name itself can be loosely translated as Passage Cave, due to there being two entrances at opposite ends of the cave. It's known for its stunning sights, with ethereal rays of light beaming through the cave ceiling. It earned the nickname, the Eyes of God, because of the light that floods through the two circles in the ceiling of the cave. Sometimes, when water trails down these holes, it looks like the eyes are crying. Remarkably in size, similar in shape, and eyeish in appearance, these holes are the result of natural erosive forces. The possibility of human embellishment has not been ruled out. These slow and steady forces are still at work, as is often demonstrated by the water running down the cave walls from the crying eyes above. Ironically enough, this is also sometimes known as the eye of the devil when the weather is bad. Historically though, this cave has been known to have been inhabited by prehistoric civilizations. Today, the cave is a popular site for bungee jumping. Some decent rock climbing can be done here too. It's easily accessed by hikers who love a unique excursion. No guides required. Number 7. Cave Lions In 2018, 25 foot below ground in a frozen tunnel deep in the Siberian Arctic, a local mammoth tusk hunter made a shocking discovery, one of the most beautifully preserved Ice Age animals ever found. A 28,000-year-old cave lion cub curled up under the permafrost with its teeth, skin, claws, and even whiskers still intact. The cub, whom scientists initially dubbed Sparta, was found just 60 feet away from another cave lion cub, Boris, that locals had discovered the previous year. The pair were first thought to be siblings, but a study on the pair concluded that they lived more than 15,000 years apart. A CT scan and genetic tests also determined the younger of the two was female, hence her new name, Sparta. Cave lions like this have been extinct for around 14,000 years, so the team who went to secure the excavation could barely believe their eyes. There was no sign they had been killed by a predator, suggesting they might have fallen and become trapped or have been buried in a mudslide. During the last ice age, Siberia wasn't the empty place it is today. Mammoths, tundra wolves, bears, woolly rhinoceros, bison, and antelopes roamed along with cave lions like this, a slightly bigger relative of the African lions that live today. Number 6. Hair Museum Welcome to the Ivanos Hair Museum in Turkey. Yeah, that's right, it's a museum dedicated to locks of hair that past visitors have left here for posterity. Roughly 16,000 samples of hair hang down, with notes including their names and contact information. So what's the story behind this rather strange exhibition of human hair samples? Well, it goes as follows. A Turkish potter was saying goodbye to a loved one when he was asked for a memento to remember them by. She cut off a piece of their hair to leave as a memento, and since then, every surface, except the floor, has been covered with the hair mementos and their accompanying notes. Some women even left their photos to be further immortalized in this eccentric exhibition. Of course, not every woman who enters the shop is expected to leave a lock of her hair. But if you do wish to make a small donation, scissors, paper, pens, and tape are all provided. And years later, the museum has amassed quite the collection. It's also no surprise that this collection is included in the Guinness Book of World Records. Of course, there's another reason why it's grown so steadily. Twice a year, the first customer to enter on a particularly chosen day gets to pick 10 winners off the wall who receive an all-expense-paid vacation to Turkey.
Number 5. The Crystal Cave Miners searching for fresh ore deposits in the year 2000 came across this unexpected and awesome sight. Massive milky white crystals filled this horseshoe-shaped cave. Since its discovery, the subterranean chamber has drawn researchers from around the world, enticing them with both rare beauty and scientific mystery. The Cave of Crystals is nestled deep underground near Chihuahua, Mexico. This gigantic cavern is home to these towering stacks of selenite. In fact, the tallest crystals have been measured at 36 feet high, weighing approximately 55 tons. Up to three miles under the surface of this cave is a giant pool of magma. The caverns became flooded over time as a result of groundwater seeping in. The water was rich in minerals, and the heat generated by the magma worked like a cooker, maintaining a steady heat for 500,000 years. The minerals in the water then transformed into the selenite crystals that we see today. Not only that, these giant crystals have experienced steady slow growth over the past half million years, but the magma miles below makes the caves unbearably hot and humid, and thus it remains largely unexplored. Number 4. Millions of Bats At sundown every evening, millions of bats swirl up from the depths of this cave, forming a tornado of fur and wings. And videos of the swarm of bats in Mexico have taken the internet by storm. Up a few hundred feet is a huge cave opening in the rock ledge, which contains an unknown quantity of bats that fly out to feed. The space in which the bat cave is located was an old mine, which is currently closed. However, it's now a sanctuary for the bats. In fact, it's estimated that more than 5 million bats live here, and more than 6 different species, mainly fringe-lipped bats. The territory of these bats stretches from southern Mexico and Central America to Bolivia and Brazil. They're medium-sized and feed on frogs, lizards, insects, fruit, and even other bats. They're considered indispensable to our global ecosystem. Multiple scientists have highlighted the importance of the ecosystem services provided by bats in the area, becoming allies of agriculture, and presenting the most efficient natural solution to be able to combat and prevent agricultural pests. In addition, these animals allow the distribution of seeds of fruits that they ingest in the areas allowing regeneration of the forests. So, we need these bats. Number 3. Minecraft Cave Play to create. If you can dream it, you can build it. Play to survive. Battle mobs construct shelter and explore the landscape. It's all in a day's work if you've played the video game Minecraft. The block-like nature here makes the cave look pixelated like the video game. The incredibly stunning Fingal's Cave in Scotland represents one of the true natural wonders of the entire world. That's due to the fact that this particular formation remains a staggering marvel of geology, unlike any existing anywhere else. The amazing cave formed long ago naturally. It's full of jointed hexagonal basalt columns. This formation occurred as a result of rapidly cooling lava flows. The remarkable feature also contains yet another marvel. It perpetually remains partially filled by the sea. Due to its dimensions, it creates a hard-to-believe effect, a naturally occurring sound pattern. The echoes produced by the waves create a cathedral effect. This natural sound effect has been described as hauntingly beautiful by numerous visitors. The magnificent sight perfectly exemplifies the aura of mystery and magic so frequently associated with the country of Scotland. Number 2. World's Largest Instrument Check out this music marvel. You just tap the ancient stone formations with a small mallet, producing a musical tone, and suddenly you're playing the world's largest instrument. Virginia's great stalactite organ in Lurie Caverns in eastern United States was invented in 1954 by a mathematician and electronic scientist who worked at the Pentagon. These naturally formed mineral deposits greatly inspired him. Stalactites were selected from over three acres of the caverns and painstakingly altered to precisely match the tone needed to become part of what would eventually become the world's largest musical instrument. Sitting atop a pedestal, the great organ looks like a normal church organ, but instead of metal pipes, uses stalactites around the cave to produce a haunting sound. The creator began his monumental three-year project by searching the vast chambers of the caverns, with the aid of 13 tuning forks tapping potential formations, a painstaking process. Electronic mallets were wired throughout the caverns and connected to a large four-manual console. 
When the key is depressed, a tone occurs as the rubber-tipped plunger strikes the stalactite tuned to concert pitch. Today, the organ is played by activating an automated system that works in a manner like a child's music box. Number 1. Underground Theme Park It may look physically demanding, but it's mostly tough psychologically. This underground theme park in Wales is a truly exhilarating experience that will leave anyone who takes it on utterly terrified. There are zip lines, rope bridges, tunnels, and much more. Two years in the making, the caverns are a remarkable, exhilarating adventure found deep inside a former slate mine. This has been inaccessible for nearly 200 years. Failing to disappoint, they have managed to create one of the world's largest underground zipline adventures. But before you let loose in the caverns, you must be able to complete the two training sessions. After being supplied with some of the world's safest harnesses and tools, have no worries should you lose your footing while climbing around the edge of a 100-foot cavern wall. Thanks to the patented design, there's no way you can accidentally detach both safety clips at the same time. Safe to say, you'll treat these tools like they're your best friend as they're ultimately keeping you from having an unhappy end to your adventure. But it's the perfect family day out in the heart of North Wales. Being completely underground, it's an all-weather activity, making it a good plan for when the worst of the Welsh weather hits. It's located in the heart of Snowdonia National Park. Caves are more exciting than we thought. In fact, it kind of makes us want to get some good hiking boots, some bug repellent, and maybe do some cave exploring of our own. How about you? You might as well like this video and subscribe while you're at it.